Right. This open well supplies me with drinking water and other water as well. And it needs to be cleaned once in a while. Now I've gone down using these rungs which are three feet apart. The open well is about 13, 14 meters deep. And I've had trouble getting back up. So I've tried to create a contraption. Well, I've created a contraption which is supposed to ease my descent and ascent. And the basic principle is it's using a counterweight uh, which is going to be hooked on to me. So as I go down, I lift the weight and my effective weight reduces by the weight of the counterweight. So that's easier for me to go down and come up because my effective weight is less. Uh, now, why counterweight solution? Well, the first advantage is everything, the entire preparation is topside. I don't have to go in the well to do anything to prepare for the solution. The second advantage is all the parts are easily available locally. And the final, final advantage is that I can do everything myself fairly easily. I needed these two pulleys. And the reason for the two pulleys was uh, to ensure there's a horizontal separation between the counterweight and myself as I go down. So that if something drastic happens and the counterweight falls off, it doesn't fall on my nut. So there's a horizontal separation. That's the main reason, actually. Of course, it could entangle as well if, it was, if there wasn't horizontal separation, but the main thing is safety. Now, how do I achieve this? Essentially, there's a set of pulleys up here attached to this wooden pole. If you notice, it's off-center so that it, there's less pressure applied on it. Uh, the pulleys are from the local market. They're used for uh, drawing water from open wells. But I looked at them and they look really solid. Uh, they could easily take the 25 odd, 20 odd kilos I'm going to use as the counterweight. The rope is uh, a climbing rope. It apparently has 800 kilo newtons or something like that. It's a really strong rope. Uh, what else? The counterweight is going to be this sort of bottle. It's a 20 liter bottle which I filled to the brim, so it's probably about 20 odd kilos. And that in essence is going to reduce my effective weight by 20 kilos as I go down and as I come up. So hopefully my weakish arms and body can work better with 20 less kilos. Of course the key thing here is to test this whole mechanism. So what I've done for testing is i put the counterweight in. It's actually right at the bottom down there. You probably can't see it too well. And I've simulated another bottle to be me, the climber. And I'm actually going to move this guy up and down to see that the whole mechanism works properly. I've, I've actually had to make a few adjustments. And it's now more or less in position. The situation that I want. You will notice that the... That the the body that the bottle which is a which is simulating myself is pretty close to the climbing rungs so that the force exerted on me is pretty much vertical uh, in terms of testing i'm going to leave this overnight so that all the parts are tested under the approximately 50 kilos that is going to be exerted on the system and I'm also going to move these, uh, simulate the movement of the bottles, the counterweight coming up, and the climber going down. This is my climbing harness. So it's a pretty good harness. I've actually tested it well uh, on dry land. There's a nice little hook. I've had to reduce the length of that cable because otherwise I'd be far too low to start before, uh, to get the actual full, uh, well, how do I put that? The longer the cable, the more deep I've got to go into the well to start pulling the counterweight back. So I've reduced the length so that the counterweight starts weighing on me 
pretty soon, sooner rather than later. In fact, by the first rung, it should be pulling me back up, exerting upward force. Now, here's our simulation. I'm actually going to simulate me going down. So, imagine this bottle is me. Since the weights are approximately the same, I can easily move this cable to get this guy going down. See with one hand, not much force. You can see this bottle going down and you should be able to see the counterweight coming up shortly. Down and down it goes and up comes the counterweight. Now of course when I'm going down it's just my plain old weight which is going to be pulling this counterweight up. So it's not a lot of work in fact, zero work for me. Here comes the uh, other preparation. The idea is to clean the well. So I've got these. I've got a whole bunch of containers lying at the bottom connected with these six uh, bits of rope, paracord rope, so that I don't actually have to carry any weight out. I come out and then pull the, the loaded debris into the various containers, pull them out. Uh, things are pretty much tested. The only issue is how uh, the entry, making sure the rope which is going to be connected to my harness, I've got a climbing harness. Uh, actually engages with the pulleys correctly and uh, once I reach right at the bottom I need to disengage the rope the counterweight will be right at the top and I so that I get free movement down there I can't be engaged to the the 20 kilo 20 odd kilos counterweight I've got to disengage and for that I've got this little eye come hook uh, my <coughs> carburetor, where is that carburetor? Is actually going to be engaging the same eye that is connected to the counterweight. And when I reach the bottom, I'm going to use this other side of the hook come eye, engage it with a rung down there then disengage my carburetor. So once the rung is holding the weight, I can easily disengage the carburetor, do my stuff, cleaning and all that stuff, and then re-engage the carburetor, disconnect this hook from the rung, and climb back up. Fairly straightforward.